some of the systems that I want to show you or some of the components of our carburetor I want to show you. This is our throttle plate. This is our throttle lever. So our push-pull cable, black control cable will be connected to this. This is our idle speed screw adjustment here that I'm going to talk about in another video. This is our mixture idle mixture control valve or needle here. This is our mixture control um, right here I'm going to talk about. And then this is our accelerator pump or our simple piston pump that supplements extra fuel when we accelerate suddenly. You can see it pushes down. It will push the reservoir of fuel that's here out to the uh, extra accelerator nozzle. It's kind of hard to see. So I just wanted to bring a little more light into showing you how the mixture control sleeve works. You can see when we rotate it, we can, we can close this channel off from the reservoir to the discharge nozzle completely. That's called our idle cutoff position. We can rotate the sleeve partially open or fully open, depending on how much fuel the pilot wants to adjust going to the discharge nozzle. So we essentially restrict it um, as the pilot rotates or pushes and pulls the lever, red lever in the cockpit or the mixture control lever, it uh, swivels the sleeve open and close. Looking at the mixture control sleeve as it looks like from the outside of the carburetor, this would be pushed up a little more flush, but it attaches to this um, this lever here and it's connected to the push-pull cable in the cockpit and the pilot moves it either um, fully cut off or fully rich depending on what the pilot selects. I'm going to take off the top part so we can see inside. Inside we have our Venturi, we've got our float chamber here, we've got our discharge nozzle here, this is our accelerator jet, and this is our accelerator pump. The pump, piston pump, pushes the reservoir of fuel into this accelerator jet when we need it. It happens at um, sudden or hard throttle up or hard acceleration. You can see when I close the throttle, my pump is lifted up. My piston is pulled up when I push the throttle, my pump is pushed down. So that's how when we open up the throttle, we get that supplementary amount of fuel into the airflow. We supplement the fuel during hard acceleration or momentary lean mixture. Um, in our float chamber, we've got our float bowl and the float bowl maintains the level of fuel in the reservoir by rising and falling. When it gets depleted, it drops down, it unseats a valve that unseats uh, on its valve seat. It actually pulls the valve up. The valve lets fuel come in to the float bowl. This is our fuel in and fuel comes through here, fills up the bottom portion or the reservoir and <clears throat> the high pressure in the reservoir sort of pushes the fuel, the low pressure in the venturi at the discharge no nozzle siphons the fuel. So we get this pushing and pulling action that helps us um, meter the fuel. Um, I wanna show you guys, I hope I can show you the mixture control sleeve or valve um, it rests inside of this little sleeve here, and you can see a corresponding opening. And as we rotate this valve, I'm just going to place it in here and see if we can rotate it. You can see the chamber opening and closing with each rotation. The last thing I want to show you is this. Um, idle jet or passageway that when the throttle is moved from um, open to relatively closed position, 
our pressure differential isn't great enough at the discharge nozzle, we have to find a different way to deliver fuel. And the new low pressure is just around the throttle plate. And you can see some holes that will allow the fuel to be jetted out depending on position of the throttle. As the throttle opens, we have all three holes exposed. We would have fuel coming out of the larger hole um, and coming out in greater quantities. When we get to full idle or idle RPM, you can see this is the last hole that is exposed here. And this last hole is, it can be adjusted by adjusting this uh, valve in and out. And I'm going to show you that on another carburetor. On the idle mixture setting, we can adjust that hole um, to be restricted to let less fuel come through. You can see as I turn this needle valve, it restricts that uh, passageway. And as I open it up, it opens up that passageway. It lets more fuel go through. The idle mixture valve, it's just a little needle valve. That's It's a screw and it screws in and out. And you can see on the back here, it has an R and an L. So rich, turning it towards this way would make the mixture more rich or more fuel and turning it in or towards the lean would restrict or reduce or lean out the mi idle mixture ratio. So this is for idle settings only. Um, we can adjust how much fuel we send through here at idle RPM. This is called our idle mixture control. This is our throttle plate, our throttle control, we can also adjust our idle RPM. If we want our RPM to increase when we're at idle, we can open the plate a little more or keep the plate open, held open by screwing this screw all the way in or turning it in some more. If we want our idle RPM to lower, we can pull this screw back and allow our throttle plate to close more. So that's our idle RPM, that's our idle mixture setting. Those are the two settings we can adjust on our carburetor. Okay.